Now, it's the story that sent shockwaves through the world of showbiz. Just four months ago, Kelsey Parker's fit and healthy husband, Tom, from the boy band The Wanted, started having unexplained seizures. Tragically, he was then diagnosed with an inoperable terminal brain tumour. Kelsey was 35 weeks pregnant with their second child at the time, and the couple have since welcomed a beautiful baby boy who's giving their family hope. Um... She joins us today to reveal why she's determined to stay positive and help others with her story. Kelsey, thank you so much for joining us. I mean, just reading through what I've just said there, how do you stay positive? Uh, for my kids, for Tom, you know, for my family. You just, you, I think in this situation, you know, it's a really bad, horrendous situation, but... I think staying positive is the only way to get through this. So, and is that something you've always been a positive person or have you really had to work on it? No, I am a super positive person. And that's what I think so hard in this situation because obviously people are looking at me thinking, how is she getting out of bed in the morning? But it's the only way to actually get through this. And, you know, I have done a lot of work with children. Um, I've done a lot of stuff about bullying and I always talk about, positive energy and I think with this situation it's the only thing that can actually get me through it each day. Uh, sorry Linda, I mean we, we mentioned the seizures there, just give us a little quick up sum on how you got to the diagnosis. So we believe that Tom had a seizure in July um, but I wasn't actually around so Tom's rung me and he's like I really don't feel well Kels, like something's happened. I said well, what do you think Tom? He said I don't know. So for six weeks, we didn't know that he'd had a seizure. And then we went on holiday with our family and um, me and Aurelia came upstairs and Tom was in bed and we were just talking, having a normal conversation. He just said, Kels, I feel really hot, my hands sweating. I'm like, okay, next minute, massive seizure. But thankfully I was with my family. So my stepdad came running in and my auntie and they dealt with the situation. I took Aurelia out of the room. Obviously it was just absolutely overwhelmingly traumatic for everyone. And then you were 35 weeks pregnant at the time, wasn't you? So what should have been, like, the happiest time of your lives? You are going to have a baby, then turned into your worst possible nightmare. Well, yeah, and do you know what? I just feel so bad for Bodie because, literally, I forgot I was pregnant. Like, 35 weeks pregnant, I just had this bump and I just carried on each day thinking, right, how am I going to get Tom through this? How, how do we get to the next stage? Yeah, I mean, it, 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 it's just... I, I don't know how... I, I mean, I really commend you for staying so positive because I, I would really struggle. I, I believe that the two of you have sort of made the decision not to get a prognosis. Yeah, I just think Tom being Tom, he doesn't need that and I just don't think it's good for anyone. And for, for me as well, I just, don't, I just don't think you need to know. I think it's admirable that you've come out, both of you, and been so open about the situation and, in turn, it has positively affected so many others that are in similar situations and that are going through similar horrific um, circumstances. How did you come to the decision to, to be so public with it? Because it must have been really, really difficult for you and your family. As a family, it really was a process to, to go public with it. I always, from day dot, wanted to go public because I just think... I'm a really open, honest person, and I just think a problem shared is a problem halved. And since going public, the amount of support and the amount of people that have reached out to us um, just says it all. It was the best thing we ever did, going public. And I think for Tom and who Tom is as a person, I think it was the best thing for him. Because otherwise you just feel like you're holding a secret. And obviously our lives are in the public eye. So I just think for us as a family, it was the best thing. But don't get me wrong, it was a really hard decision to make. And have the bandmates <clears throat> been helping? Have they been in touch and supporting you? Oh, the boys have been absolutely amazing. Literally, we speak to them every week. Siva lives in America. He's always calling, making sure Tom's OK. Max has been unreal. Um, Jay, just everyone, yeah. It's been really good for them, actually, to reconnect as well through this. So you have your daughter, Aurelia, who I believe is one, and then you've got the, the, the divine Bodhi. Tell us about his name. So Bodhi means enlightenment, and I just think with this situation, he hopefully is going to be the light at the end of our tunnel. Look at him. Oh, 
That's such a sweet well picture. <clears throat> are you okay? <laughs> oh, look, oh. Aurelia. There's Aurelia, look, playing with her little Aww. baby brother. Can you still hear us, Kelsey? Oh, there we go. Yeah. Um, so, I believe you had, well, what sounds like the world's shortest birth. <laughs> 30 minutes. Yay! <laughs> hey. <laughs> wow, well, that, is, that is phenomenal. I, pa Paris wants to say something to you. Can you hear Paris? Yeah, just first of all, I want to say congratulations on your new boy. That's lovely, beautiful to have your two babies close together like that. And I just wanted to ask, like, how are you managing this every day? How are you getting up every morning? You said you're doing that, and I think that's great. I think that positive is 100% right. I think that positive outlook is amazing. But how do you find when you have, like, a lower day or a bad day? Do you discuss it more, or...? I, I've got an amazing family who literally live around the corner. I mean, I have had days where I've had to call my mum and say, you need to come and get, like, pick Aurelia up. I can't cope. Like, I am sat on the sofa crying. But... I just think for my kids and the sake of Tom, I have to get up out of bed. I have to give them breakfast. I have to make sure Tom's taking the right medication, making sure he's getting to chemo and radio. I just think it gets me through the day. And how is Tom? How is Tom you feeling in himself? Is he feeling positive? Yeah, so he is, he's just finished chemo and radio. So he's actually having a little break at the moment. So our process right now is to get him as fit and healthy for round two of chemo. Um, he's doing physio every day and I've got him on a really strict diet. He probably does hate me because I'm no. so strict. <laughs> doesn't he? No, I, I think he's a very, very lucky man to be married to you. I think you're absolutely uh, incredible, Kelsey. And thank you so much for joining us today. Thanks and for having me. We'll, we'll speak to you again soon, I hope.